Did you know that the Great Pyramid of Giza, built over 4,500 years ago, was the tallest man-made structure on Earth for over 3,800 years? That's longer than any other building in history. Now, let's embark on a journey to unravel more mysteries, myths, and incredible facts about these ancient wonders. At this time in history, you probably must have heard about the Egyptian pyramids and their mysterious nature, position a structure that raised a lot of questions in people's minds. Due to this fact, historians, scientists, and theologians try to find solutions to this ever-arising questions. The pyramids of Egypt, those enigmatic and towering structures that have fascinated the world for millennia, are not just architectural marvels. They are monuments to human ingenuity, ambition, and the mysteries of ancient Egypt. Due to this mysterious nature of the Great Pyramids, there arises several myths, conspiracy theories, and facts being associated with the pyramids. In this in-depth exploration, we delve into the myths, mysteries, and facts that shroud these colossal structures, shedding light on their historical significance and the enduring allure they hold over modern imaginations. But before we go in depth in this mystery, who were the original inhabitants of Egypt during the construction period? Were they black or white, Arabs or Europeans? Ancient Egyptian artwork and inscriptions often depicted individuals with varying skin tones, but the classification of black or white in the modern sense does not accurately reflect the diversity of the ancient Egyptian population. In general, the ancient Egyptians would be considered indigenous Africans, and their physical appearances would have varied among individuals. It's important to note that the terms Arabs and Europeans are not applicable to the builders of the ancient pyramids. As these groups had no significant presence in the region during the time of pyramid construction, the Arab migration and the spread of Arab culture in Egypt occurred many centuries centuries later, starting around the 7th century CE with the Islamic conquest of Egypt. Similarly, European influence in the region occurred much later in history. The original Egyptians who built the pyramids were a diverse group of people who lived in ancient Egypt during the Old Kingdom period, primarily from around 2680 BCE to 2180 BCE. These builders were not a single homogeneous group, but rather a combination of skilled laborers, craftsmen, and workers who came from various regions of Egypt and were employed for the construction of the pyramids. Here are some key points about the individuals involved in building the pyramids. The construction of the pyramids required a vast workforce of skilled laborers who were responsible for quarrying, transporting, and shaping the massive stone stone blocks used in the construction. These laborers were highly trained and specialized in their respective tasks. The majority of the labor force consisted of ancient Egyptians, including both free citizens and laborers who were part of a labor tax system known as the corvée. They were organized into work crews and performed various tasks essential for pyramid construction. While the idea of slaves building the pyramids is a common misconception, there is limited evidence to support the claim that slaves were the primary workforce. The consensus among historians and archaeologists is that the laborers were not slaves, but were instead well-fed and housed workers who contributed to the construction of these monumental structures as part of their civic duty or employment. The construction projects were organized and overseen by a hierarchy of administrators, architects, and overseers who planned and directed the labor force. These individuals played crucial roles in coordinating the construction efforts. Skilled craftsmen and artisans were responsible for creating the intricate stonework, inscriptions, and artwork found within the pyramids and on the temple walls. They were experts in various fields, including stonemasonry, sculpture, and hieroglyphic writing. Some workers came from nearby regions, while others were recruited from other parts of Egypt. It's believed that laborers from various backgrounds and regions of Egypt came together to contribute to the construction projects. Before the pyramids were built, there existed flat rectangular structures called mastabas, which served as a foundational step in the evolution of ancient Egyptian tomb architecture. The term mastaba derives from the Arabic word for bench, and indeed these structures resembled low bench-like tombs. However, despite their seemingly simple appearance, mastabas marked a significant departure from earlier burial practices and paved the way for the grandeur of the iconic pyramids. During the early dynastic period in ancient Egypt, which dates back to around 3100 BCE, burial practices began to evolve beyond basic pit graves. It was during this period that the concept of the mastaba emerged. Mastabas were constructed using mud brick or stone and featured distinctive architectural elements that set them apart from earlier burial methods. Mastabas were rectangular structures with flat tops and sloping sides resembling a step bench-like design. This shape was in stark contrast to the simple pit graves used previously. While mastabas marked a significant advancement in tomb construction and burial practices, the progression did not stop there. It was during the reign of Pharaoh Djoser, part of the Third Dynasty, around 2667 to 2648 BCE, that Egyptian architecture took another transformative step forward. Under the guidance of the architect Imhotep, Djoser's funerary complex at Saqqara introduced the world to the Step Pyramid, which was constructed as a series of stacked mastaba-like layers creating a pyramid-like structure. This architectural innovation marked the transition from mastabas to pyramids leading to the grandeur of the Great pyramids of Giza and the remarkable achievements of ancient Egypt in architectural and engineering prowess.
Building the pyramids of Egypt remains a remarkable feat of ancient engineering and architecture. Theories about how the massive stones were quarried and transported as well as the construction methods used for lifting and placing these colossal stones have been the subject of much research and debate among historians and archaeologists. Several theories and techniques have been proposed over the years. One prevalent theory suggests that ancient Egyptians used copper chisels and wooden wedges to quarry the stone blocks. Workers would create channels or trenches in the rock by repeatedly pounding wooden wedges with copper chisels, then wetting the wood, causing it to expand and split the rock. Some researchers propose the use of diabase balls, hard, dense stones, to pound and shape the softer limestone. The repeated impact of these balls on the rock could have helped in the quarrying process. It is widely believed that the stone blocks were transported over long distances by placing cylindrical logs, possibly sycamore or cedar, beneath the stone and rolling it along a prepared path. Workers would continually move the logs from the back to the front to keep the stone block rolling. To reduce friction between the stone block and the ground, workers might have used sleds or sled-like structures. Lubrication, in the form of water or wet sand, would have been applied to make the movement smoother. The stones were raised by use of ramps. These ramps could have been straight, zigzagging, or circular and constructed from mud brick or limestone chippings. Workers would have used sleds or rollers to move the stones up the ramps. While the precise techniques employed in pyramid construction remain a subject of ongoing study and debate, it is clear that the ancient Egyptians possessed a high degree of engineering, skill, and organization to accomplish these monumental architectural achievements. The combination of innovative quarrying, transportation, and construction methods allowed them to create the awe-inspiring pyramids that continue to captivate the world today. The internal structure of the Egyptian pyramids, particularly the Great Pyramid of Giza, has long been a subject of fascination and exploration. Inside these ancient monuments lie intricate layouts of chambers, passageways, and hidden features that serve both structural and symbolic purposes. Recent discoveries and ongoing research have shed light on the mysteries within the pyramids. Here is an overview of the internal structure. The entrance to the Great Pyramid is on the north face. An ascending passageway leads from the entrance to the king's chamber. This passageway is a long, narrow corridor with a steep incline. Beneath the pyramid lies the subterranean chamber, which was initially intended to be the burial chamber but was abandoned during construction. It is a rough, unfinished chamber, above the subterranean chamber and connected by the ascending passageway. There is the queen's chamber. This chamber has a simpler design than the king's chamber and is sometimes referred to as a symbolic chamber. The king's chamber is the central focus of the pyramid's internal structure. It is built of massive granite blocks and features a red granite sarcophagus, which was believed to hold the pharaoh's body. Above the king's chamber, there is the Grand Gallery, a corridor with a high corbelled ceiling. The purpose of the Grand Gallery is still debated but may have been involved in the burial process. The king's chamber is preceded by an antechamber and several small chambers known as relieving compartments. These compartments relieve the weight of the stones above the king's chamber. Recent years have seen significant advancements in the exploration of the internal structures of the pyramids. Muon Scanning In 2017, a team of researchers used muon radiography to scan the Great Pyramid of Giza's internal structure. This non-invasive technique revealed previously unknown voids within the pyramid, sparking further curiosity about their purpose. Thermal scanning, infrared thermography has been used to analyze temperature variations in the pyramids, potentially indicating hidden voids or chambers. Ongoing thermal scanning continues to provide insights. Robotic exploration, robotic explorations have been carried out to investigate hard-to-reach spaces within the pyramids. Robots equipped with cameras and sensors have been deployed to explore passageways and chambers. Research missions, ongoing research missions inside the pyramids involve the use of advanced technologies and techniques, such as LIDAR, light detection and ranging, and 3D scanning to create detailed models of the internal structure. The mathematical precision of pyramid design, particularly in the case of the Great Pyramid of Giza, is a topic of fascination for researchers and mathematicians. Ancient Egyptians exhibited remarkable mathematical knowledge and precision in their architectural endeavors. Here are some key aspects of pyramid mathematics, including the use of the golden ratio and the Fibonacci sequence. The Great Pyramid of Giza is known for its precise base dimensions. Its original base sides measure approximately 230.4 meters, and these sides are remarkably consistent in length, with only a slight variation of a few centimeters. The pyramid sides are meticulously aligned with the cardinal points of the compass. With astonishing accuracy, the alignment is believed to be within a fraction of a degree. The pyramid exhibits a profound understanding of geometry, with the four triangular faces meeting at a single point directly above the center of the square base. The golden ratio, often denoted as phi, is a mathematical constant approximately equal to 1.61803398. The golden ratio is found in various aspects of the Great Pyramid's proportions, adding to the mystique and intrigue surrounding its design. Pyramids especially the Great Pyramid of Giza, have inspired a plethora of myths and misconceptions over the years. While these myths can be intriguing, it's essential to separate
incorporate fact from fiction when it comes to pyramid lore. Here are some common pyramid myths, including alien theories and an exploration of the reality behind them. One of the most persistent myths surrounding the pyramids is the idea that they were built by aliens or extraterrestrial beings due to their perceived architectural complexity. There is no credible scientific or historical evidence to support the notion that aliens built the pyramids. The construction of the pyramids is well documented in ancient Egyptian records and is attributed to a massive labor force of skilled workers, not extraterrestrial entities. This myth has been widely debunked by archaeologists and historians. Some theories suggest that the ancient Egyptians possessed advanced lost technologies, such as levitation or unknown methods for quarrying and lifting massive stones. While the exact techniques used in pyramid construction are still a subject of study, there is no concrete evidence to support the existence of advanced lost technologies. The construction methods likely involved a combination of manpower, ingenuity, and well-established engineering principles. Many legends claim that hidden chambers and untold treasures are concealed within the pyramids, waiting to be discovered. Many legends claim that hidden chambers and untold treasures are concealed within the pyramids, waiting to be discovered. Some myths suggest that the massive stone blocks used in pyramid construction were moved and lifted by superhuman or supernatural forces. Pyramid construction was a monumental human endeavor that involved careful planning, a skilled labor force, and innovative engineering solutions. Workers used a combination of ramps, sleds, and other tools to transport and position the stone blocks. It has been claimed that the layout of the three main pyramids at Giza corresponds precisely to the alignment of the three stars in Orion's belt. While there is a general alignment between the pyramids and the stars in Orion's belt, it is not perfect. The alignment is an interesting aspect of pyramid design but does not hold the precise mathematical accuracy often attributed to it. But wait a minute, does all these myths and misconceptions really offer any solution to the mystery of the Great Pyramids? While myths and misconceptions persist, it is essential to rely on credible historical and archaeological research to understand the true history and purpose of these iconic structures. The study of pyramids reveals the ingenuity, engineering prowess, and cultural significance of ancient Egypt. And there you have it, folks, the Great Pyramids of Egypt, standing tall and proud, holding within them an array of mysteries, myths, and fascinating facts that have captivated humanity for centuries. Your knowledge and experiences are invaluable, and they contribute to the rich tapestry of pyramid lore. So, don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments section. We can't wait to hear from you and have a conversation on the same. But our journey into the world of the pyramids doesn't have to end here. If you've enjoyed this exploration of mysteries, myths, and facts, please show your support. Give us a thumbs up by clicking the like button below and subscribe to Africa First channel for more engaging videos. Thank you and goodbye.